sent notes. Oh, that one in my mouth. <laughs> Don't eat the fragrance, Bianca. Welcome to my channel, Bianca Scogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. I'm doing kind of some some little things on my channel where I'm trying some things out, right? And I have done a couple of videos on my channel where I've talked about fragrances. And I don't know if they've done really well because they are Sol de Janeiro and I'm obsessed with Sol de Janeiro or it's because they're fragrances. But I, I love fragrances. I don't talk about it a ton on my channel, but I do. I, I buy them. I like them. I I'm a big fan of fragrances. So I thought maybe I could throw in a quick video every once in a while, like so that maybe I could do two videos a week and talk about some new fragrances I bought or old fragrances or whatever. Just this week's video is, as you saw from the title, uh, the Sniff fragrance brand. This is a brand that's been out. I have no idea how long it's been out, but I heard about it the last couple of months. And really I heard about it because of this. Vanilla Vice, this scent. This scent is what has been making this brand, I guess what put it on the map is my knowledge. I could be wrong, <laughs> but ugh, I'm trying to get it out of the box. Anyways, it's this Vanilla Vice scent. I purchased it, obviously I have it right here. And one thing that I really, um, enjoy about this brand is that they give you these little samples. Okay. There, so you can see I have three samples right here. So I'm going to be talking about three fragrances. So that's why it's a pretty short video because I only have three fragrances. When you purchase from their brand and I think you can get sniff from Ulta as well. And I don't know for sure if you can also get the sample from Ulta that you get from sniff also. If you do know that, let me know in the comments. You buy the full one ounce size of the fragrance, which is $60. But they give you, which is super, super, super smart marketing on their part, they, they give you this tiny little vial. And so what you do is you, you use this little vial first and you spray it and you spray it on your body so it mixes with your body chemistry. You spray it on these little pads, you know, fragrance things, you spray it and you use up this whole thing. And then you can determine whether or not you actually like the fragrance or not, because they have a great return policy that you can return the fragrance. And it's because of these. So I actually, I'm going to let you know already that I didn't like this, this vanilla vice. I didn't like it. <laughs> I'm going to return it. And I love that I can do that because I don't feel bad because sometimes I return things and I feel bad because they just go straight in the dumpster. They go in the trash because I've used it. And so they can't sell it to another customer. They can't donate it. They just trash it. And that feels terrible, but it's hard not to take advantage. So like Sephora has a, you know, beautiful return policy. So I try to limit myself to returns at Sephora because I feel bad, but also Sometimes I don't want to be spending tons of money on things that don't work. So anyways, what I love about this brand is that I can return this and it is brand new. All I did was uh, open this, the little packaging. I have never, the, the, <laughs> this is still in its plastic. And so they are able to still sell this as brand new. And so I, I just like that. I think it's a really good way to help save the planet, to make it so that I don't feel so bad about returning. The other fragrances that I got was this one. This is the Soda Snob. Okay, so this is under their like hidden menu. They have a couple of them. They have one that is like pizza. They have one that is like oil. I think it's called Dead Dinosaurs. And it's, it's so weird. Here, let me, let me do some, some research about it. So I have more information for you. Sniff is the company, but they sell these like these secret fragrances, I guess, these kind of weird, odd fragrances under their, like it's no noses, N-O-N-O-S-E-S -S, ink. And so it's not on their actual Sniff brand, but it is by the brand Sniff. There was one that came with this, the Slice Society, and it is a pizza one. Then they have Dead Dinosaur, which is like oil smelling. And then they have one that is Crumb Couture. And it's supposed to smell like, uh, they have a girl eating a, croissant and so it's supposed to be hot and flaky anyways it's uh, so they just have these interesting unique smells so 
did I want the one that smelled like a pizza? No, I didn't. That does not appeal to me. I am obsessed with Diet Coke. Is it good for me? No. Do I love it? Yes, I do. So anyways, I was so excited to, see, to try a, a fragrance that smells like soda, that smells like Coke. And I was like, that's going to be so much fun. Okay, it's $60, but I had like a coupon code that I just, you know, I Googled coupon code from Sniff and I found one and it, I think I got like 20% off. And so I was like, cool. It was ended up being like 40 something dollars. Anyways, I was able to get it and it came with the, the little vial that I could smell it with. And so I put, this is why it's important because what I'm about to say is important to, to sp spray it on these little things, but also on your body chemistry because I sprayed it on this thing and it kind of has a spice to it. It, let me tell you the scent notes. Oh, that one in my mouth. <laughs> Don't eat the fragrance, Bianca. Okay, so what is this soda snob supposed to smell like? Oh, it's actually $65. It is supposed to have um, fizzy lime, cinnamon, secret cola accord, jasmine, and caramel and vanilla. And when you first spray it, the very first spray, you smell that fizziness. The, like it smells like when you open a can of soda and you're like, whoa, holy cow, that's amazing. But as it settles down, it has more of that, you can smell the cinnamon, the, the, the spiciness. And so when I sprayed it on this and I let it sit for, like this was days ago, I let it sit, I was like, I don't like this. I don't really like this, it's too spicy. It's too cinnamon, it's too harsh. Like it didn't have that sweetness to it. It did at first, but then it settled down and it went away. Then I sprayed it on my body and it was like, I kept getting whiffs of it and it was sweet. It was that sweet, what does it say? It has like caramel and vanilla. And I, that's what I was getting. I was getting a sweet smell of caramel, a sweet smell of vanilla, a sweet smell of lime. And I was like, oh my gosh. I love this. So I was kind of sad because originally I was thinking I was going to return it. Um, and this was the first one I got. I got this. I These other two that I have over here that I've only showed you one of them. I hadn't purchased them yet. This was the very first one I purchased from Sniff. Purchasing one of the secret ones first was probably an interesting choice. But I'm an interesting person. So anyways, when I actually wore it on my body, I loved it. I was obsessed with it. It's so unique. It has you know, the, 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 the fizziness, but also it's so sweet and it also has some warmth to it. Oh my gosh. This fragrance is absolutely magnificent. So $65. And if you have a coupon code, you can get, you know, more off it. A hundred percent is worth it. I love this fragrance. I think it is good. Like, I think it would be a good year round fragrance because summertime you think of like fizzy cola, you know, that's a fun summertime fragrance, but also it has that cinnamon that could make it really good for the fall time. So I think it's a, it's fun. I love it. So I'm not returning that. I'm keeping it. And I'm so excited to have it in my collection. Okay. So then we talked about the vanilla, vanilla vice. So let's talk about like the fragrance notes and stuff like that. See, right when you go to sniff, this is the fragrance that's on there. So that's why I was thinking that that's why this is their like number one main seller. This is their their baby, you know what I mean? The the notes, it is a war, a woody, ambery vanilla. It has the scent notes of ice cream, Madagascar vanilla, jasmine, sandbok, amberwood, musk, and orkinox. Anyways, so it was like that ice cream and that vanilla that I was like, oh my gosh, wow, ice cream? So much fun. When I first sprayed it, it smelled a lot like my K. Ali Vanilla 28 fragrance, and I was like, okay, I don't, need to. I don't need two that smell just like this. So at first when I, I was like, okay, I'm already kind of thinking I don't need it, but then it had more of a sweetness to it than this one. This one has a lot of warmth to it. it is, I usually only wear this one in like the fall and the winter time. It's very warm. So I was like, okay, cool. It, it's sweeter. It, it's that ice cream, but I don't know what it, what the base notes are because it says, I, I don't know what Orkinox is but it has an anise smell to it which anise is like black licorice so to me to my nose to my body chemistry i was picking up a lot of black licorice smell 
And every time that I, I would catch it, when it would, like, it would waft up and I would smell it on myself, it was black licorice. I couldn't even smell the vanilla anymore. I couldn't smell the ice cream. All I could smell was black licorice. And don't get me wrong, I really like black licorice. I think I'm one of those weirdos that likes black licorice. <laughs> but I don't want to smell like black licorice. I'm going to be returning it because I don't like that. I don't like, I actually was really glad that I had smelled it. I, I had sprayed it on myself before I was going to take a shower because I was like, I want this off of me. I don't like it. So if it's, it was so unappealing that I, I needed to go shower and get it off of myself. So I am, I am going to be returning the vanilla vice. Does that mean it's a bad fragrance? No, it is not. I actually am really um, happily surprised with Sniff right now. Um, but that fragrance just personally was not for me. Will it smell like black licorice for everyone? Probably not. We all have different body chemistries. It just kind of had that smell to me. So I, I didn't like it. And they are allowing me to return it. They do have kind of a, a restocking fee. So I think I'm paying like $4 for them to restock it. But to me, that's worth it. It's worth it to pay $4 for it to, um, for like, I guess, shipping, restocking, all of that stuff. So uh, I just, uh, I would rather have my money back minus $4. <laughs> okay, last but not least, Coco Shimmy. This is the brand new one. This one just came out. I actually, because I had purchased the soda snob, it put me on a list that they were going to tell me about new releases or I signed up for it or whatever. And so I saw that this one was coming out. I got an email about it and I signed up to be like notified when it came out. And I was like, sweet, awesome. Coco shimmy, coconut. Oh my gosh. I love coconut. It's mm, coconut, summertime, banana, that, that smell of like, sunscreen oh yes okay so i'm so excited to have it in my collection i ordered the coco shimmy and the vanilla vice at the same time uh so i've only made two orders from them let's talk about the scent notes of the coco shimmy coconut obviously pineapple sunscreen i mean you got me there surf wax sandalwood and tonka bean i got this one I smelled it. I put it on my body. I, I put it on one of these and I liked it. I did. It smells, um, let's do it again. I'm doing it from my little vial here because I have the vial. I haven't even opened up this one yet because I don't need to. I'm going to use this one up. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It smells like coconut. It smells like banana and it smells like sunscreen. I wouldn't actually say that it smells like pineapple. That is one of the notes, but I'm smelling banana more than pineapple personally. I have quite a few fragrances that are like this. So what I did personally to make sure that I wouldn't have anything that's already like this in my collection, I pulled out from my collection all of the fragrances that kind of have this smell. Like I smell uh, ones that are like I have a vacation one that is from the brand vacation. I have um, some from Sol de er, yeah, one from Sol de Janeiro that kind of is beachy. I, I pulled out ones that kind of have this coconut, pineapple, sunscreen, banana smells. And I sprayed them all on these things. And then I like lined them all up and I was seeing if any of them smelled just like this. <sighs> and this is all very personal. Like you can do whatever you want to do. If, if you just like this scent, I mean, that's great. Um, <laughs> but I just didn't want to have, just be spending $65 on something that I don't need because I already have that smell. And for me and my collection, <laughs> nothing smelled like this. I had one, I have ones that are, are kind of more coconut. I had the one from vacation. I felt like it had a little bit more pineapple to it. This one has a lot of banana. I know that's weird because none of the notes say banana, but I was comparing all of the fragrances that I have in my collection and none of them smelled just like this. And none of them smelt I was gonna say, cause I really like the vacation one, but the vacation one um, doesn't have lasting power. So that's where it's not as good as this one. This one was the best out of all of them. This one was the best. And I actually contemplated returning this one because I was like, <laughs> it's so funny cause I've talked about how I was re contemplating returning all of them. Okay, because I'm cheap. <laughs> And I was like, well, if I already have one that if I already have like four fragrances that smell exactly like this, why do I need this exact one? And because Sniff has made it so easy for returns so that I don't feel guilty that I'm returning something because it's brand new in the return. But after smelling my entire fragrance collection and none of them being as good as this one, I should, why am I holding this up? None of them being as good as this one, I'm keeping this one. 
I'm keeping it. And I'm so glad because I was so excited about it. It's just summer in a bottle. It's that sunscreen. It's that coconut. For, for me, it's banana. It, it lasts a long time. It lasts so much longer than the vacation one. Not that I'm knocking the vacation one. It smells amazing. Amazing. But it's not as... This is good. This is good. So, I'm really excited about this fragrance brand. Will I be purchasing more from it? Yeah, I probably will because I enjoy the mechanism that they have for sending you fragrances in these tiny little vials so that you're not wasting, before before I know that I like it, I'm not wasting the whole vial and, and, and you know, having been being thrown out. So I enjoy this, this brand. Where do you get a, a soda? You know, a, a soda fragrance. I know, I think Killian has recently come out with one that's like $300. So I'm not gonna purchase that. So I'm just so excited to be able to get this unique fragrance for, you know, less than $65 because I was able to find a coupon code on the internet. All right, well, what do you guys think? Are there other ones from Sniff that I should try out? Because the, I've only tried these three. Are, are there, um, are the other Sniff fragrances that are your favorite that you think I should try? Because there's quite a few more on the brand. I just haven't purchased them. And I'm in this fragrance era that I'm just obsessed with fragrances right now. So let me know in the comments if there's any that I should try out, if you guys have tried these and you like them. And if you like this video, like this video. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell. Most importantly, be nice to yourself because you're amazing. Have a great day.